news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa, Nail and Barber Shops, HOV Medical and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. Mami, me no understand. Poquito Espanol. English, please. Why you just say? Are those familiar phases? Well, Representative of 4 District 6, Honorable Myron V. Walwin, is taking steps to reduce the many challenges prevalent in the Virgin Islands among the English and Spanish-speaking populations. Well, one of the things uh, I promised the people of the 6th District is to empower them and provide as much opportunities for the advancement uh, through education and, and, and other means. Uh, the Virgin Islands is a melting pot uh, of people from many different places. The largest segment of persons that we have uh, from uh, Dominican Republic, Spanish-speaking uh, countries. And to create greater cohesion between the locals and our brothers and sisters who have come to live with us, they, we want to make sure that we, we won't be able to eradicate it entirely, but reduce the language barrier uh, as much as possible. So what we have done uh, in this district is we have hosted two classes. Uh, the first one started with persons who were Spanish-speaking but wanted to learn English. Uh, that particular group of people are very close and dear to my heart because a lot of them have, they have a lot to offer the community, but because of the language barrier, uh, many of them are not able to access services, many of them are not able to access better jobs, even though they're very intelligent, but that language barrier has been an impediment for them. So I want to really congratulate those persons who took the initiative to come on to the program. It's a six-month program, uh, and as you see, Cathy, they're doing extremely well. There are other persons in the community who are English-speaking that wanted to be able to communicate better uh, with not just their friends, but as you just heard, the gentleman just spoke about it a while ago. Uh, persons, a lot of businesses uh, that are owned by Spanish persons, that are frequented by Spanish persons. You see a lot of people who speak Spanish in your daily interactions. And so to be able to communicate with them, he said it should go both ways. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of the English persons, English-speaking persons in the district said, well, uh, member, we want to be able to learn Spanish as well, and so we put the program on. That's also a six-month program that is running. Uh, it's not too late to join, even though, yes, we've had about a month and a week or so started already, but persons who may know some English um, or know some Spanish but want to brush up and increase a bit, you can still join the program. It's only for persons who are from District 6. It's held on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Pursa Community Center. I want to thank those persons who are the lecturers. They've, done a, they've been doing a wonderful job, and I want to thank them for giving of their time to be able to help us to create a, a, a greater tapestry or weave a, 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 a closer tapestry uh, in District 6. Students testify. My name is Miss Cruz, and thank you for joining on the program. And this district, my own while. Thank you for the help um, to join in learning more the language. It's uh, very helpful to me um, learning different things. Um, thank you for that. And I advise every Spanish speaking around the area, the community, six district, to join on the program. Well, um, I joined the class because I take a little um, side job. And most people I talked to were Spanish, so it was hard to understand what they requested and what they wanted. So I decided now to improve me and to better to help them to take the class and learn it so I could be more fluent and understand what they want, so I could be a better person dealing with them. Had it not been for this initiative by the district rep, would you been, would have been able to? No, sir. No. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. And I'm grateful that he did, so... That's why I'm taking the best of it and I make sure that um, I do my best while doing it. Okay, and you're going straight through to the end? The whole thing, and some. Now, while the classes are dominated by adults, during our visit last night, March 20, there was one child also taking in as much as she can. Oh, 
efforts to bridge gaps among the peoples of the Virgin Islands. With this JTV News update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands.